Browns drive about to get started. And they, of course, coming into this one in the midst of a tough losing streak. They did get helped out by the open week last week. And in talking with him, all indications were, Charles, that that was a very helpful break. Yeah, I know a lot of teams, coaches, they hate taking time off in the midst of a losing streak because they think they have to stay on their toes and punch their way out of it. But occasionally, you get that open week, you step back, evaluate what's been going wrong, see what you can put in that can move you forward, and maybe you get a chance to breathe a little bit and kind of start over. Off the play fake, Mathis. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. David Ajabo, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum, but all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense. send out their punter now as the drive goes backwards so he's on to punt it away and he's able to get it out of there set at the line for this next drive. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown. And this is caught at the 20. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Now Jackson. This right caught right around the 6. And the Ravens are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Here's Jackson. Flush to his right. And that is caught. But the back judge right there to say incomplete. Well, you know me. Whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Jackson from the shotgun. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens go up by two touchdowns. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they'll have good field position here as he's out of bounds up at about the 34-yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Three. 
And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, okay. I keep going back to him. From the 41, here's a second down and four. And motion left goes a tight end. On second down, they'll run it here. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. The tight end in motion right. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. You know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say, play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Third and two, Mathis. They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Tucker now for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And able to get this out to the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Right back to it. And oh, he caught it up. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Do you remember in preseason we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills. Yep. And, you know, guys either slapping at the ball yeah, or the yeah. machines. You got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Now these two teams, you might recall, met back in midseason, week eight to be exact. And it was the Ravens getting the road victory in that one. So now they'll look to finish off the season sweep here in Baltimore. Now a second and ten. Jackson now. 
Got a man down the field. It's Bateman. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Ravens are able to widen their lead here in this first half. knew it they were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted now a slightly more difficult attempt here from the 20 and he's been a busy man five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead Touchdown. Breaks a tackle. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. 79 Broncos. On first and 10, Mathis. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. 60 Bison, 60 Bison. 18, Pioneer. Back to throw. Mathis. This will be caught. Judy. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. 60 Bobcats, 60 Bobcats. Trap 60, trap 60. Cut 19, cut 19. Go. Looking to throw. Mathis. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Ravens are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Play action. It's Jackson. And this one is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. 
to throw is Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. A big play there just before halftime, and even 40 yards. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Finds his man over the middle, it's likely. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will be a 37-yard attempt. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And all the gamble fails. It's incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Browns drive about to get started. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's third and three. Dixie Maverick, Dixie Maverick. Mustang 19. Operating from the gun, Mathis. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got it. Ready? First down, Browns. Hands it off out of the gun. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Operating from the gun, Mathis. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Brandon Smith picks it off. And he's able to get it back here to the 43 yard line. So, first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. After the interception, here's Jackson. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Second and ten. Throwing is Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Mitchell. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Jackson. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Devin Duvernay, a 7-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens open the lead up to 34-0. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And that makes this 35-0 now. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Touchdown. 
strong, loses it on the hit. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. 18 rattler, 18 rattler. Hill going to go in motion right. Throwing to start the drive. Mathis flushed out right. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. 19 tight, 19 tight. And it's third down. 19 right. Buffalo 18. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Dragon 60. 79 Bronco. Go. Back to throw. Mathis. Oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Well, they certainly aren't running up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Sets up a first down and goal at the four-yard line. So now, just like that, things change dramatically. It's first and goal. Mitchell will take this into the end zone. It's a Ravens touchdown. Tucker now to add the point after. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Cleveland offense ready to go. Hey, well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outline. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Looking to throw. Mathis. Boy, he almost did that himself, but it looks like he's about a foot or two short. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. So they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Does 
doesn't pan out, and the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I'll give them credit winning that first snap and forcing an incompletion. They're hoping that'll deflect the offense a little bit if they took the field charged up after taking over after a turnover. Here's second and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. He's into the secondary. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Devin Duvernay with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Ravens get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Tucker with the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, the disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point, and on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that because otherwise... They certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook, but bottom line is, don't quit competing. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll go again with Strong. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This offense on third down today, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and five. Back to throw. Mathis. And this is going to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. That's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And that will force a turnover on downs. Well, they clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? Uh, hey, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. Hey, middle, middle, middle. Hey, Ozzie, Ozzie. Say on first and ten, it's Jackson. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On second down, here's Jackson. That's going deep for Bateman. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Carter, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead. Just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one, though, falls incomplete. 
Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, I think it's pretty evident that any blowout isn't going to be big enough for them. They're already up seven full touchdowns, and it's still not stopping them from throwing it deep downfield, taking their shots, trying to add more points. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Ravens go for it, but come up empty. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now they try the right side here. Adafi Owe there on the tackle. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second and nine. Off play action. Mathis. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Justin Matabike breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hadn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Throwing on third and long, Mathis. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Brandon Smith picks it off. And the Ravens are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Now this throw caught left side. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era. We think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. Jackson on first down. That's taken in by Duvernay. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. They're going to hurry back to the line now. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. After the sack, here's second and 11. Jackson. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Now Tucker to add the PAT. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. The Cleveland offense ready to go. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. How about this? He's to the 10. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown, but they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you go, you're you going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Point after, right down the middle. As they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The ball 
some more offense at the line set to get going. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. And quickly, they get to the line. Now it's Jackson. Open man downfield is Duvernay. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, they have been unstoppable this afternoon, Charles. They just went after them from the start and pass plays like we just saw. They're continuing their dominance here despite the big lead in the fourth quarter. And that they have in every way. And plays like that across all phases of the game, they've just been effortless for them in this one. And that's what's helped them build such a long... All right, rifles one, and that's good. Now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of... And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Here's Strong to begin the drive. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And it's third down. Here we go. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. On first down, Mathis. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. On second down, a run with Strong. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and 12. 19 From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. Extra point splits the uprights as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And he doesn't even get this to the 10. He's taken down at the 9. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And this crowd has certainly liked what they've seen. Their guys fully expected to win this one coming in, and they have not disappointed as they've got the big lead here in the fourth. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. That's going deep for Bateman. And got his man complete. 
Ravens going to use their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. On target to his man. Now a loose football, the ball comes out, and this is picked up by the Browns. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. And partner, I know hindsight's always 20-20, but man, just in general, those laterals, they can be so risky, and we see the risk that can be involved right there. And you just have to know, and, and we've seen it because we've been at a lot of practices, it's not something that's practiced very often. You know, in that situation, you don't see guys really working on it. Maybe like... And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And the Ravens are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On second down, Jackson. Throw right side here, taken in by Bateman. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Hook up of 15 yards there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. 13, 13. Jackson from the shotgun. And he is caught. But he's able to get this to the 30-yard line before he's out of bounds. 21 yards there on third down. Oh, Jackson's going to throw it. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance. To Pat. Oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance and by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. Can I talk my... Come on! That other side... The Oakley way! Hey. C5! Can't nobody do me like I do me. And I don't care to be nobody else because I'm unique. I'm fine with me. I am God and God is me. Dream so big, my God, my sleep. And I ain't running from it. It's only a loss if you ain't learned nothing from it. I turned to a boss. Remember, I was under budget. Now I pay the staff off and fly to another country. It's for the love of the game, never for the love of money. But don't get it twisted. Still clocking big digits. Some rodeo, big spending. All the cribs, luxury. I came across the last time I did dishes. Big business. All my I deal six figures and up. When you get it out the mud, it hit different. You should sell when the cops came, we hit fences. Now I'm blowing smoke out the country with two thick. I'm gonna take them both back to the penthouse and get that's how it's supposed to be. Life is beautiful. I'm doing small believe. Flew out to Columbia and brought me home some used to be the underdog. Now they put me overseas. And I don't wanna be nobody else, nigga. Do me like I do me, and I don't care to be nobody else, cause I'm unique, I'm fine with me, I am God and God is me, dream so big, might die in my sleep, but I ain't running. Point them out, 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 watch them penny. Got two chains on, I'm too late. Plus, I got him up, plus size, pen him every truck. 
ain't no, it's two seats, so she leave her best friends. Bust out my dad face, your chain is a necklace. Go that, go that, go that, go that, go that, please, please don't go that, go that, go that, go that, go that, go that, me, left wrist, go that, right wrist, go that, necklace, go that, sis, go that, it's not go that, go that, go that, go that, go that, go that, me. Design of a sneaks, double dip mine in the bleach. I'm blocked over short, I'm popping down Miami Beach. Pull up like LeBron with the heat. Huh. I bought a crib in the crib with the office shit. Beach at my mom, but I can't see me walking there. I'm with a Tesla, but it ain't no charge of that. I call up Cohen, with Brianna, been parking the top. P box seats, I'm watching all shit. They cop like stop right next to my block and trust me. Beat, I might drop that hips on the style, and then doja her top half, huh? 2300 on the horse, and I'm Mike. Switching out the character, the strip is like tight.